Hi, I'm T.H. Culhane for Envisage Mercy, the Environmental Sustainability and Justice Club, and Solar City Solutions, a nonprofit corporation that is working in Brazil and elsewhere in the world to solve sanitation problems, particularly dealing with food waste, by using biodigesters. And this is the Pusheen Biodigester System. This one is the Solar Cities Pusheen Solution. Uh, which they developed for us so we can use it in difficult environments where you can't always use machinery to build your digester. What makes it unique is while this configuration of the molds enables you to build a 10 cubic meter system, it's 10,000 liters, and this is the stomach part of it and then the neck part of it which goes on top. It's this set of molds here and then in our model represented the gas holder which holds the gas, which I'm using this baby bottle thing for. Uh, while it's made to build a 10 cubic meter digester, there are many circumstances in which you cannot dig deep enough to bury the whole digester if you want to bury it, or when you don't want that capacity because you don't have a food waste to accommodate it. So what they designed for us was a system where you can build a 10 cubic meter system, or you can build a six cubic meter system by eliminating this bottom ring, or you can take out this ring here and drop this shoulder cover part down onto this part here, and then you have a four cubic meter system. So you can basically build three different size of biodigester with the same steel molds, four, six, or 10. And that gives you a lot of flexibility. And the secret to it is this new conforming ring, I call it, which they developed for us, which holds the steel molds in a circular pattern. As you can see, this mold here is over the gap of this, these two, forcing them, after you lock the bolts in, to hold its curvature. Same thing here, you've got another piece, and here the piece is over the gap, so it's holding the curvature. When you're building a 10 cubic meter system, you wouldn't need this conforming ring, because look at how the four cubic meter mold sits under the gap of the six and it acts as the curvature holder. It's the conforming ring. So in the old system, they didn't provide this at all. This didn't exist. It was these top plates on top of the six cubic meter on top of the four. And because this gap is over a non-gap, it would hold the curve and it would make it so you could get these top plates on. But what we discovered in China this summer is if you don't have both the four and the six put together, there's no real way to make sure that when these plates are sitting next to each other, like, like this, there's no way to make sure that it's not a little bit too curved in like this, or a little bit too under curved. And unless it's a, a perfect circle, more or less, you cannot get the top plates on and you'll spend hours trying to get these top plates and find that the last one just will not fit. And then they're like, ah, oh, take a mark off, which oh, can take yeah. hours, yeah, get yeah. inside and start kicking, and, and kicking to try to get it into a circle. Now if you're in a perfect location with a nice flat floor, you can draw a perfect circle and you can line these up along with the chalk line that you draw and then try to get them together and try to get a perfect circle. We tried for days and days. Yeah. My car is stuck in the snow. Do you guys have a shovel? I know. Let's pause that.